Well, today we're going to cover a subject that we get lots of inquiries about, and that's buying a second hand or pre owned ski. And today we've come to Peter Stevens in Geelong to take a look and run you through some things that are really vital. What we're going to cover here is to understand that a ski is not like a bike or a car. It's really different. So some things you're going to look at in a motor vehicle, you may not pay close attention to here. And other aspects will come into it. Of course, you're going to have a look and make sure the ski's in good order. And you're going to check the paint and the juco, the seat and some of the trims. What we need to look for is to make sure underneath we have a really good look at the hull to make sure there's no cracks or imperfections. That's going to tell us if it's been really bashed around or neglected on the beach. And of course, having a motor, we really need to have a look and understand that that motor and its drive line has been looked after and serviced. That's really critical. Now when we buy a motor car, we often are put off by the kilometres the vehicle's done. And with a ski, it can be quite the opposite. Because when a ski is not used, it starts to deteriorate and corrosion starts. So what we want to look for is to get a balance. We don't want to buy a five-year-old ski that's got one hour. And on the other side, we don't want to buy a ski that's necessarily got a thousand hours. Now let me just say a great tip. If you're looking at buying a second-hand ski, book it in with a service centre and have it checked over. It's cheap insurance. It's a bit like having your car checked by the RACV. We want to do a pre-service inspection to make sure what you're buying is going to last. Of course, to check the hours, a really quick inspection of the dash. And while you're checking the hours, make sure all the dash is functioning, taco's working, the display's up. That's a good sign that it's been serviced. Of course, a really good inspection. Grab the steering or the handlebars, make sure there's free movement. We're then gonna start the ski. No point assuming it starts. You really need to have an understanding that it will start. And look, another good idea is ask for a demo. See if the owner is willing to meet you at the water to make sure it runs. Now one thing with the motor is to always check to make sure it's been serviced and you've got a service record or history. And then we're going to have a look at the engine to make sure there's no signs of corrosion. We're going to check the oil, make sure it's clean, and just have a look inside the hull to make sure there's no other areas that might be a concern for it. And of course to check the oil, it's just like a car. You dip the dipstick, pull it out, make sure the oil is clean and it's to the right level. And of course, really, you want to make sure all the compartments are open. Have a look inside, make sure there's no corrosion, layers of dirt or silt, and it's confirming that the hours on the speedo are consistent with what you see inside. Of course, unfortunately, jet skis don't have a service book or record. You really need to ask for the invoices that the owner may have had work done. The other thing to be cautious of is to make sure you check it and it hasn't got any outstanding money owing on it or has been stolen. And that's really important. You don't want to invest money in the ski and then find out it's not really the owner's. To find that out, you're going to need to contact Vic Roads, Marine Safety and other governing bodies to confirm. Now just remember, when you buy your ski privately, there's no warranty. But when you buy a ski from Peter Stevens, we give you a three month goodwill and that's going to be insurance for you. But also, other reputable dealers may offer a warranty. You need to look for that. So there you go. I hope that helps you because we want to make sure when you go and you buy that second hand or pre-owned ski, you have as much knowledge as you can. So let's work it out, make sure it's right, suits what you want, and get out there and have fun.